Well, hey there, and welcome back to another episode of The Laura Shipman Show. I'm your host, Laura, and if you're looking for ways to boost your productivity and get your content marketing on track and make the most of the holiday season, you, my friend, are in the right place. Today, we're diving into something essential for every business owner during this busy time of year, and that is the Holiday Season Business Organizer Toolkit. We all know how chaotic the holidays can be with promotions, campaigns, customer inquiries, and everything else that needs to get done. But what if you had a toolkit ready to help you get organized, focused, and stress-free? That's exactly what we're talking about in today's episode. Episode 337 starts right now. Well, hey there. Welcome to The Laura Shipman Show. I'm your host, Laura, and I'm here every week to help you create value-driven content quickly and efficiently while focusing on things like digital marketing, social media, productivity, and time management. My goal? To give you the tools to market your business effectively, manage your time, and create real results both in business and beyond. Are you ready to dive in? I know I am. Grab a notebook, a pen, and your favorite drink. Get comfy and let's get started. Well, all right, my friends, let's just dive right into this segment and talk about why it's so crucial for you to have a holiday season organizer or a toolkit. The holidays are prime time for boosting sales and engaging with your audience, but they also can be very, very overwhelming. You're juggling so much, everything from product launches, customer service, social media campaigns, email campaigns, and oh yeah, you're also trying to enjoy the holidays yourself without anything set in stone or a clear plan or effective tools you're going to find yourself scrambling at the last minute, missing out on great opportunities and also feeling burnt out. And none of us want that, right? That's why it's so important for us to sit down, take a couple minutes. I mean, these podcasts aren't that long. They're like 15, 20 minutes tops, right? And set up a system that's going to help you navigate this busy season with ease and also help you enjoy it along the way. We all want that. I want that. And I really want that for you. And that's my goal, right? To help you guys get a better life, a better business and enjoy it all in the process. Okay. So first let's talk about what you need to have in your toolkit or in your toolbox. I've broken it down into five key components. So you might want to grab your pen and paper now, and here's where we're going to start. We're going to start with, and we've talked about this before, but a comprehensive content calendar it's so important to have a well-planned content calendar. It ends up being the backbone of your holiday strategy. It tells you what to do. It's your game plan, right? You know when you're going to do your promotions, what your social media posts are going to be about, what your email campaigns are going to be about, and hey, what about blog content? If you have that on your dashboard that you can see all this stuff and when it's supposed to be going out and the themes and everything you need to be talking about, you are going to be ahead. Okay. So here's how you create it. I like to use metrical. We all know about this. I almost mention it in every single episode, but you don't need to use something like metrical. You know what? You can use something simple like a Google sheet or an Excel spreadsheet or even a Trello board. So it doesn't matter what you use or even pen and paper. I don't care, but you just need something, right? So what you want to do is you want to start off first by writing down key dates. Make sure you know when Black Friday is, that's coming up really soon, and Cyber Monday, Christmas, and New Year's, and any other special dates your business might need to capitalize on, and then plan your promotional posts around these dates and all your content too. But you need to make sure you leave room for engagement and community building content as well. So really think that out. Think about what your content pillars are, um, what's important to your business, what messaging is important as well. My tip here is to use anywhere between three and five content pillars, but nothing more than that, because then it gets hard for you to manage. And then the messaging gets confusing to your audience. So I'd say anywhere between three and five content pillars will really work. So here's a quick win for you. If you don't already have a content calendar ready, take 15 minutes today. And that might mean putting me on pause right now. I highly recommend doing that because it's in your brain and go ahead and sketch out November and December social media schedule. What is that going to look like that for you? Are you going to post every day? Are you going to post three times a week? What does that schedule look like for you? And start plotting out what the messages are going to be on each of those days. 
and it'll help give you a clear picture of what needs to be done and what kind of content you need to start filming, photographing, writing about. Now, my recommendation is if you're not sure how many times a week to post, go with three because I think that gives a good cadence over the week. You're not going to have any major dry spells in between. And sometimes it's just not feasible to post every day of the week, right? My recommendation is if it makes sense for your business and you're open during the week is to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's a great schedule. It gives you the algorithm boost that you need. It gets you in front of your ideal customers frequently enough. Um, But you work out a schedule for you. What makes sense for you, your business, and your audience? Okay, the second component that I really like is a holiday sales tracker. Now, you may argue that you can pick this up through your analytics, and if that works for you, that's fine. Do it as long as you're paying attention to it. But I also like to record things because I think it imprints on our brain a little bit better. It makes us more aware. And if you're using a Google sheet to track your content calendar, create a new tab and call this one holiday sales tracker. Here's why you need it. It's going to help you monitor sales. It's going to help you monitor how your promotions are doing. And it will also remind you of when your upcoming sales and discounts are coming. So you're not surprised and you're not scrambling at the last minute. And the other thing that I really like about this too, is you can measure growth, right? You can record like how your sales are growing, if they're not growing, if they're taking a dip or if they're flat recording that simple process of recording versus looking at results is going to help you become more passionate about what the results are and give you the jumpstart you need to go ahead and tweak what whatever's going on in your marketing campaigns. Okay. So where do you record this stuff? Well, just use Google sheets is a great way or an Excel spreadsheet or even a notebook. There's lots of different apps out there. My recommendation is don't start anything new right now. Like there are so many apps that you can download and start using, but there's a learning curve to using those. Use what you know, use what you're comfortable with. And the point is just track, be aware of your business, understand how it's performing so that you can pivot and make changes as you need to. Okay. Here's a little pro tip. Use these columns to help you track everything. They are You want the columns for the date, so we know what we're talking about and when we're talking about it, the promotion type, the platform that you're promoting to, the sales generated, and any sort of notes that will give you insights to how your strategy is performing. Okay, the third component I think we overlook even in our daily work lives, and that is a really good task management system. And here's why it's important. During the holidays, there are a ton of moving parts and moving parts generate lots of small tasks, anything from like scheduling social media um, to updating your website, holiday graphics to creating blog posts. I mean, there's just so many tasks that come with the holidays and having a great task management system in place is really going to protect you from letting things fall through the cracks. And we don't want that to happen, right? For me, I love lists and I use it in my planner and I just record things that way. Some people might like Trello boards because you can easily tick those off as you go through your task list. Or there's even like just in your notes app on your phone can allow you to have a task list. I know um, Google calendars has a task list that you can apply to different dates. If that helps you stay really organized, whatever system you use, just make sure it's a good one so that nothing falls through the cracks. So here's a quick win or a quick thing you can do to make sure you don't lose anything or have anything fall through the cracks this holiday season. Start with a piece of paper and just jot down every single task that you need to make sure doesn't fall through the cracks. Then next to each one of them, prioritize them, rank them from one to 100 if it's that many tasks, and then assign specific deadlines and dates. Once you do that and then put that into your system, you'll feel more in control and you'll be able to see what everything looks like when it's laid out in front of you. And those visual cues will help you stay on top of your business game this holiday season. Okay. Component number four is having a customer service plan. The holidays 
bring an influx of customer inquiries and having a plan in place is going to help you respond to these inquiries quickly and efficiently. So whenever possible, using DM automations or any other automating tool that you have, make sure you've got automated responses set up for frequently asked questions or FAQs. And then also have a pre-written FAQ sheet that you give to your team so they can quickly reference and handle common questions that pop up. This is going to speed up response times and really help keep your customers happy. Okay. The fifth one is a self-care checklist. Don't forget about you. Hey, running a business during the holidays is demanding, so it's really critical to take care of your health and your well being. So, here's some things that you can do to make sure you're taking care of you. The first one is schedule regular breaks, set boundaries for work hours, and remember to celebrate your wins, even the small ones. It will make you feel so good. And then make time for exercise, right? Taking a short walk does wonders for your brain. It actually helps me when I get out of my office and outside in nature just for 15 minutes can clear my head and generate some creativity when I'm really struggling. So that's really good. Make sure you're eating healthy. A lot of times we just grab things on the go. I know I'm really guilty of that but I'm trying hard this holiday season to make sure that I have healthy things in the house. So when it's time for lunch, I can take a break from my work, go into the kitchen and have something healthy. And that is going to make a big difference because if I'm fueling myself with good stuff, good stuff is going to come out. Then make sure you're getting enough rest. I know it's easy to end up doing longer hours. I know I'm guilty of that too, but make sure you go to bed at a reasonable time get a good night's sleep, and then get up so you're ready to go the next day. All right, right now I want to do a little challenge. Take five minutes right now and add a few non-negotiable self-care activities to your calendar and to your task list. Know what these are and treat these as appointments with yourself as seriously as you would a business meeting. Okay, so those were the five components that I think are truly crucial to your holiday toolkit. So go ahead and make sure you embrace those and get those working. But before we go today, I have two things for you. I always leave you with two things. One thing I want you to take action on. And the other one is a helpful chat GPT prompt you can use. So the thing that you need to take action on today after this podcast is take 10 minutes to set up your content calendar for the next two weeks. Even if it's just an outline of the key dates and a few post ideas, this is going to give you a great solid starting point. Now, here is the chat GPT prompt you can use, and this will be in the show notes. So don't worry if you can't scribble this down as quickly as I say it. So here's the prompt. I'll try and go slow. Help me create a weekly holiday content plan for my social media that includes promotional posts, engagement posts, and value-driven content. Include key dates like Black Friday and Christmas and suggest themes for each week leading up to the holidays. Okay. Again, that's going to be in the show notes. So don't worry if you didn't get it down, but this prompt will give you a customized plan so you can start executing without the overwhelm. And that's what we all want. And the cool thing about that prompt is you can adjust it and tweak it. So it fits your business. All right. So those are the two things I've got for you this week. All right. In closing, the holiday season is such an exciting time for businesses, but it can also be one of the busiest. And having a holiday season business organizer toolkit, that's a mouthful, will not only keep you on top of your tasks, but it will also help you stay focused on what really matters, serving your customers and enjoying the season. And that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend who might need a little extra help getting organized for the holidays. All right, until the next episode, you know what to do, my friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, 
stay social. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you found this episode helpful and packed with value. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update. And hey, if you know someone who could benefit from today's tips, please share the podcast with them. It's the best way to help others and grow our community. Until next time, keep creating, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next episode.